What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and I have a pretty special build of Mac OS 15 right here. It's a leaked build. So just as I was about to go to bed last night, I got notified about Mac OS 15, so I installed it right away. It was specifically an IPSW file for the Emblem MacBook Air, which is what I have right here. This is the Mac I'm using. So yeah, this is what Mac OS 15 is apparently going to be. This is an in-development build. Of course, it's not going to have a Sonoma wallpaper. I just have a feeling Apple does not have the wallpaper in this build yet. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing right off the bat, you can see right away we have a brand new calendar app. So if we open it right here, you can see that we have a brand new design. It's more resembling the iOS version. So maybe it's based off a of catalyst now. It doesn't work that well. It's kind of buggy. So yeah, hopefully Apple will fix this in the future. But yeah, now the next change inside of Mac OS 15 is something brand new. So I'm just gonna open up the Messages app right here. And I'm not gonna log in with my Apple ID because I don't want Apple terminating it because I'm on a leaked build of Mac OS 15. So if I were to do this, you can see we got Snap Controls, which is a pretty cool feature. I'm using two monitors right now, but it's kind of hard to do it. Maybe Apple will fix it uh, by the time Dub Dub comes out, but I don't think this window supports it. But yeah, you can see we have snap controls. So it's a lot better window management than stage manager will ever will be. You could put it on the center right there. And I think Apple in the future will probably put it in here. It's just speculation because it's kind of weird just having these three while having a way better window management feature inside of Mac OS 15. So yeah, hopefully Apple will add those in the next Mac OS. Now the next change is inside of the Freeform app. So I'm gonna open up Freeform right here and we're gonna continue up a freeform board. So I'm not gonna enable iCloud syncing for obvious reasons. So if I were to press this button right here, you could see I have text right here. I'm just gonna say, hello. But if I were to press command option right, I'm gonna do that right now. You could see we have a brand new freeform page. So I could just press this, type whatever I want. I'm just gonna say bye saying bye to Mac OS 14. And now I'm going to click on command option left. And you can see we are on page one right now. So this is a brand new feature inside the Freeform app. Pretty cool feature. I personally don't use Freeform myself. But if you do use Freeform, please let me know what you think about this feature down in the comments down below. But yeah, this is a brand new feature. It's basically Freeform pages having multiple boards inside of one freeform board. Pretty cool. Let's go on to the next feature. If I were to press command tab, you could see it's more like windows now. So it also unminimizes the window, which is a much better functionality of command tab. So if I were to do this, it unminimizes it and you could actually see the preview of the window. So this is a pretty cool feature that I missed from Windows, but at least it's now back inside of Mac OS 15. Pretty cool that we have this feature here. And now the next feature is we have a brand new system preferences. So it's back basically, it's just called system settings basically. But if we were to go change the settings, so I have mission control right here. Uh, I'm just gonna open up things real fast so I could show you the mission controls. So this is the default thing but you can group windows by application. It doesn't seem to be working right now. I guess that's just a bug with Mac OS 15, but you can see it, oh, system preferences just crashed. Hopefully that gets fixed before dub dub, but yeah, you can see pretty buggy, but hopefully Apple will fix this in the future. Oh boy, I hope Apple does not see I'm using this. Hopefully they don't take my serial number, but yeah, I'm just gonna press an okay. And let's go on to the next feature. All right, the next feature of the leaked build of Mac OS 15 is we have a brand new app right here called the App Library. It uses the same one as Launchpad. And it seems to be broken right now. It seems to be just be infinite loading and you can't drag it around. It's just up here. Maybe it's supposed to be down here, but I bet if I use my monitor, let me see this real fast. Uh, yeah, if I use my built-in display, it looks just fine. But right now it's pretty buggy right here. Yeah, hopefully this bug gets fixed by the time Mac OS 15 releases to us developers, but I think it's supposed to be exactly like it is in iOS 17. Basically just grouped apps right here. Maybe we'll have a full screen view. I hope we do because it would be pretty bad if it, this replaces Launchpad with no way to go back to the old Launchpad, unfortunately. So hopefully the app library is good inside of Mac OS 15 when it does come out. All right, so the next change, it's not enabled by default, but we have a brand new app in here called Apple GPT. So if we were to open this app right here, it goes down here, it closes, hopefully that gets fixed in a bit. 
and you'll see we have the Apple GPT button in the menu bar. So you can see once we open up Apple GPT, it looks like ChatGPT, but it is 100% Apple. Apple made it. They probably bought out a bunch of companies. Probably Darwin AI is one of them. So yeah, so let's say, tell me how I can make an app in Xcode look good in Swift UI. Pretty basic prompt, but I guess I have to click right here. But you can see Apple GPT tells us all our advice and it tells us to basically follow all the stuff that Apple needs. So animations, space alignment. You guys should definitely follow Apple GPT's advice. It's really good, but yeah. That is just the next feature. It's in the menu bar. I guess Apple just wants to compete with Copilot. Well, hopefully we get some brand new stuff in the future with Apple GPT, hopefully with image editing. Let's see if that's in Mac OS 15. All right, so I have an image right here. I did not take a look, so we'll be finding out at the same time. Let's go in the Photos app right here, get started. And we have our photo right here. I'm just gonna click on Edit. I don't see any AI features except the one that we currently have, which is copying the subject and sharing the subject, which would just be the camera right here. However, we don't have anything new in the Photos app as it looks like right now. Maybe Apple just needs to branch it to like the Mac version as well and they have it with iOS already done. Who knows, who cares? Hopefully we get it inside of Mac OS 15. I'd love to see a bunch of brand new AI features, but yeah, that is what's new with Apple GPT. Now the last change is inside of Safari. So it has to do with ads. So if I were to go to one of my videos right here, you're gonna see we don't have an ad that plays a what? Happy April Fools guys, Mac OS 15 did not get leaked, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe, let me know what you want down in the comments down below in Mac OS 15, and I'll see you in my next video, bye!